All right, gonna do a part three to my video series going through my, the uh, best and my personal favorite cartoons depicting the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. And if you want any kind of scriptural justification for this, in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 25 down to verse 27, Elijah is mocking and making fun of the prophets of Baal. And Islam is in fact modern day Baal worship. And Muhammad was just a modern, you know, a more recent example of a prophet of Baal. And uh, that's the simple fact of the matter, because you're not supposed to have any kind of respect for the prophets of uh, false religions, and especially not the prophets of Baal. And you see uh, in 1 Kings 18, verse 25 and 27, Elijah is mocking and making fun of them. And I'm just doing the same thing with these, uh, with the false prophet of Islam via these Muhammad cartoons. And by the way, too, I'm not saying I endorse the artists of these cartoons. It's just the cartoons itself is what I'm showing in this video. So uh, just don't take this as any kind of endorsement of the artists. Just want to point that out because I don't know their views. But here is the first cartoon. Uh, it's a very accurate depiction of you have Muhammad with his so-called religion of peace, uh, which was built upon beheadings of their enemies. See, so you have a, a uh, religion of peace, and then you have all the heads that he probably beheaded on his way to expanding his false religion, and then all his, you know, successors, all the caliphs who were his successors, did the exact same thing. Because that's the thing about Islam. It's just like any, just like the uh, uh, mother of harlots in Revelation 17, 18, Roman Catholicism. Islam is built and predicated on murderous, you know, warfare and violence. Plain and simple. In this cartoon, very accurately sums that up. Here's the next cartoon, very, uh, very accurate depiction of the kind of perverted, you know, uh, weirdo Muhammad actually was. He was into all, he was into child marriage and you know, into incest with his cousin and everything else, and this. Uh, depiction of this psychotic, uh, devil-filled, false prophet, uh, mentioning the fact that he's you know was a, a assaulter. I can't say the word on YouTube. Pedophile, murderer, genocidal, delusional, liar. Yeah, he was all those things. I would probably would also add on there, devil possessed, because obviously, uh, that angel. See that the angel Gabriel or the entity that came to him, professing to be the angel Gabriel, was actually a demonic entity. Satan manifests as the angel of light, or he can, he can do that. He can appear as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 talks about that. But uh, that cartoon sums up. But here's the next cartoon. Next one on the uh, on my uh, list. Uh, this one is, uh, I think it was written in French, obviously. I'm not, I'm not that good at French, but this time you have their uh, pedophile. Uh, because Muhammad was a full-on pedophile, plain and simple. And you have him with his child bride, Aisha, holding her dolls. Because there's, a, there's multiple hadith that actually mention how Aisha was actually playing with dolls when Muhammad was you know, fondling her and doing stuff with her. That's their prophet. That's that's why I'm mocking this false prophet of Baal, because he was literally a full-on pervert. And here's the final cartoon. You have a prophet Muhammad, and he's saying, stop calling my followers violence or we'll kill you. Uh, it's funny because they're saying they're a religion of peace, but then if you uh, say they're actually not, it's funny because the Hindus do the exact same thing. You say Hinduism is terroristic, you'll get death threats. Same thing if you say that Islam is built on murder and bloodshed and pedophilia, well, you'll get death threats. Because they're going to prove how peaceful they are by threatening to kill you and behead you. That cartoon perfectly sums it up. So, there, I wanted to show these more cartoons, and I'll probably come, be coming up more videos in the future on this whole thing. But these cartoons perfectly sum up the kind of uh, perverted weirdo that Muhammad was, the false prophet of Islam. See, like I said, Islam is just modern day Baal worship. And it's funny because in uh, 1 Kings 18, in verse uh, 28, mentions, mentions how the prophets of Baal were cutting themselves, you know, until blood was coming out. Muslims do the exact same thing, various sects of Islam. And again, Islam is built upon murder and violence. And, you know, Proverbs 8, uh, verse 36, God says, all that hate me love death. That's Muhammad covered right there in that verse, in Proverbs 8, verse 36. And also, his false religion of Islam is covered in 1 Kings 18, verse 25, down to verse 29. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, don't be deceived by Islam. These cartoons accurately sum up this false uh, Baal-worshipping religion. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.